Hello everyone, my name is Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to preface this video with saying if you don't like listening to someone talk bad about a ship that you maybe like or is your favorite, this may not be the video for you because I will be talking very open and honestly about how I feel about many popular Disney Channel ships. Obviously this is my own opinion, but again, it's my video so I'm gonna say whatever I want. But with all that being said, let's just jump right into it. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. You seem different. So this is a big one, and I get a lot of comments on my top 15 kisses video as to why I didn't include Shane and Mitchie, and it's just like, I don't like Shane and Mitchie. It's nothing personal, like I like Demi Lovato, I like Joe Jonas, I just don't really like how they treat each other, like in the first movie when he finds out that she's been lying to him. He like gets so mad, like I understand that she did this, but take some advice from Ben from Descendants. This doesn't change who she is as a person, and you still liked her. And I understand that her lying to him hit pretty deep, but still, did you have to do it in front of everybody? Like that was such a cold move, and then she just sings the song and he forgives her, like you seem pretty upset. And then in the second movie, like they were at it the whole time. Like he's like, I just wanna to get to know you better. And she's like, I just care too much about this camp. And it's so annoying, they're just fighting and fighting. Although we do get a great song out of the two of them. Wouldn't change a thing is possibly the best one from the second movie. It's just their chemistry always felt off to me. And then Mitchie is so annoying in the second film. It's just frustrating, especially because they are such a popular ship. I always feel out of the loop because I'm just, I'm not a big fan. The most important thing was that nobody got hurt. Will Maya be okay? She's the one who sent me to you. So this is our moment? Mm-hmm. I promised you that my moment would be my moment. This is it. If you're familiar with my channel, I think you already knew that Riley and Lucas were gonna be on this list, and basically I've said it in videos before, I just never saw them having much chemistry. I always prefer relationships that have more banter and depth to them, and the fact that Riley and Lucas were so similar never really worked for me. I just found their ship to be a bit boring in my opinion, and I didn't really think that the two characters had that much chemistry together. I feel like I've already said my opinions on them, so let's move on. Oh, that was fun. You were saying? I, uh... Forgot. Wow, Cody. Don't talk. Tonight, we speak the language of dance. I don't really know why I don't like Cody and Bailey. I think it might be Bailey, because I'm not really a fan of her as a character. I don't really think she deserves Cody. He deserves, like, somebody who's head over heels for him, and I never really saw Bailey as that person. Also, it might just be Debbie Ryan. Like, I'm not really a big fan of her acting. That's just me personally. And I know that Cody and Bailey are, like, such a big ship, and so maybe you guys can leave in the comments down below, like, why you like them, and maybe that would change my mind. I don't know. I just always felt bad for him that he was chasing her for so long, which just really didn't seem interested. And then they did get together, and it just... I just wasn't crazy for it. Oh, what a sweet scene. Yeah. <laughs> but full disclosure, I'm a Josh fan. Yeah, Team Mosh forever. I think I've already talked about Maddie and Diggy enough on this channel, and I think Dump Truck sums it up pretty nicely, so I'm just gonna move on to number four. You know what's kinda sad? This is my last year of high school, and I've never played a sport. Oh well. You know what? I'll join the girls' volleyball team. <laughs> You're gonna play volleyball? Look, it's not that easy. Well, how hard could it be? You do it. <laughs> it's very difficult, right? I just make it look easy. Kind of like being your boyfriend. <laughs> So you're probably like, Kaylin, why don't you ship Spencer and Teddy? And I'm just gonna say, cue the music. Hey everybody, can you dig? Spencer Walsh is a two-timey pig. I do have to say that I haven't seen like past season two maybe of Good Luck Charlie. So I don't know if I'm really qualified to speak about their relationship, but I did witness all of the cheating drama. And since then, like I've just never liked Spencer because he cheated on her. That makes him not a good person, right? Yet so many people ship Spencer and Teddy, and so I'm like, he must have done some big grand gesture, right, to win her back, to prove that, like, he's not as terrible as he used to be, and he's not just gonna cheat on her again like he did the first time. Maybe he's just matured, and that's why she takes him back. I don't know. Maybe leave in the comments down below if you ship Spencer and Teddy, why, and if I should too, and then maybe that could change my mind. Because part of me feels like they just got back together because they were dating in real life, like, and I just don't like when that's a case on a show. Also because the clips I've seen of Teddy and Bo seem to be like pretty adorable and so I'm like, why didn't she end up with that guy? I've also noticed Maya 
It's like you've cared about Riley so much for so long that the moment she decides to care about somebody else, I guess. You needed to protect her. How? You need to see if she was safe with him. Yeah, but how could I possibly do that? Well, let's see, all right? You lose yourself and become like her, so you get to know him like she knows him. I mean, what a great way to see if he's good enough for your best friend. I don't know. I don't know everything. But apparently he does know everything because apparently he's been around this whole time when Maya was with Lucas, like observing in the bushes and the campfire or something. Cause he's conducted this whole like reality about Maya pretending to be Riley. That doesn't make any sense. And before this scene, I did ship Maya and Josh. Like I didn't think the age difference was that big of a deal. And like, they were kind of cute, but then he said all this stuff. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, you haven't been here. You haven't been in the whole show this whole season. Like. Unless there's a whole lot of stuff that we haven't seen, like this just didn't make any sense. I know that moment between them with the holding hands was cute and all, but it's also like, no. Basically once Josh did this, it kind of lost all faith for me in the ship because once I don't like a character anymore, I'm not gonna like a ship anymore. And so, sorry, I don't like them. I don't need some guy who kisses me knowing he's about to leave for six months to do some stupid movie. Jake could fall out of the sky wearing a tuxedo and I wouldn't care. <laughs> Miley, I'm serious. He could come down giving me a dozen roses and it would make no difference. Zero, zilch, el zippo. What if he got down on his knees and begged you to take him back? Like that's ever gonna happen. Sorry, it's only one rose, but I did bring chocolates. Miley and Jake bug me because I always felt like they were pushed so hard on the show when Jake is like not a good person. He kisses her and then leaves and he cheats on her twice. Like that's not a good human. And yet she keeps forgiving him and taking him back. And it's just sad to see this toxic relationship being pushed to young viewers. I also feel like the ship is like a really popular one. And I understand why, like they do have some iconic moments. Like I do include them in like my top kisses video, my top uh, me cutes video, but I don't ship them. Like obviously I ship Miley and Jesse because He's such a better guy. I'd love Jesse so much. Can we just talk about Jesse instead? Jake is just kind of like that mistake that happened that people forget was a mistake and like she should be shipped with Jesse instead. I can hurt you. Not without her permission, I bet. Harry and Mal aren't technically canon, although they are canon in the books. So I don't know if that counts because I'm not really too sure if the books are canon in the film, if you know what I mean. But I just don't like Harry and Mal at all because Mal is with Ben and I don't understand why people ship Harry and Mal other than the fact that Dub and Thomas are together. And that just bugs me because it's like, why can't Dub Cameron's real life relationships be separate from her movie and TV relationship? Especially because Mal says in the first movie that they didn't date on the island. It was more like gang activity. Like she basically says that she's never had a boyfriend before. And so that means that that whole Plotline shouldn't exist. Like they just made up an excuse because they weren't good enough actors to like not have chemistry, which I don't think is the case because I think that they're good actors. Bugs me when I see all the promotion on like Descendants Twitter of like asking if people ship Harry and Mal. So it's like, no, she's with Ben and like Harry should be with Uma. I don't know. I think I ship them. I haven't decided yet, but I want to know if there's any popular Disney Channel ships that you guys don't like. So leave it in the comments down below and please explain why you don't like them because I'd really like to read more about your guys' thoughts and opinions on some popular Disney Channel ships. Anyways, guys, my name is Caitlin. You can follow me everywhere at Kate Loves Disney. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell because I post new videos every single Friday, but that's all I have to say for today. Hope you'll have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very, very soon.